maybe by six months, it will be very difficult to make out from where the graft has been taken. We will be discussing the case of Suraj. He is 28 years old and he got his procedure done 40 days back. And now he is undergoing the setting phase and you can see his pre-transplanted picture and you can also see his immediate laptop pictures of transplantation. So this is the area which was done and you can if you bend down Suraj a bit, you can also see that he is also going to potentially become you know grade 5, maybe grade 6. And if you turn around and you can see that uh, this is the donor after 40 days and with our kind of skill set I can tell that from this donor we can pull out 4000 more grafts without making it look bad. Already 2100 grafts has been taken and 4000 more grafts can be taken that means after 6000 grafts from the donor I am confident because we are standing on the experience of more than 10,000 surgeries uh, the skill set that we have it would not look bad at all. Of course once he keeps the hair short then you can make out that the hair has been taken. However, the illusion that is created in our hands is most of the times you cannot make out that the hair has been taken. Again, depends on the skill, the instrumentation and you know how you have planned for the future. In his case, the strategy was to keep the grafts for the future need. So, there is going to be a need here in the crown and also the hair which is looking very dark today in between the crown and the frontal part, the mid area, this is also going to potentially become bald. That means he will have a need there as well. So the donor has to be efficient later on when there is a need arises and that can cover. As I said earlier also, even the beard grafts are good, they can grow, but are they as good as scalp hair? Answer is no. They are not as good as scalp hair and we all know that. And he has got a great beard hair though, but with all our expertise, we know that it is always smarter to use only scalp hair and make it look full. At 40 days, it is becoming difficult to make out from where the graft has been taken. And you know, after like two months and three months, when there will be remodeling of the skin, as well as the dummies, the collagens, the scarring, maybe by six months, it will be very difficult to make out from where the graft has been taken. And still, his donor area is preserved for the future needs. I have also encountered some patients who have been counseled by other clinics that, you know, let us extract a lot of grafts from the back and put it in the front, grow them and if the donor looks bad, don't worry, we can do a donor farming later, we can do SMP later, we can put a beard grafts later on the donor area. I think on the first go, the thought is very, very foolish. Mostly the scalp is enough and those guys who don't know how to handle, how to kind of manage the scalp hair, they jump into the beard, they jump into other areas and they think of donor farming, they think of doing the SMP in the donor. They think like that because primarily Either they don't have the skill or there is a commercial angle. That means we'll extract the grafts, the number will be more and we'll be billing for that. That is a very wrong approach. And since we are doing a lot of repairs of these kind of damaged cases, so I felt like making a video on this subject so that the patients are educated. Uh, they should do more research and find the right doctor who would not damage the donor. So at Eugenics, like all the doctors, they all have been kind of trained. So also the consultants, they all have been kind of educated enough to impart the knowledge to the patient so that the patients are educated in everything. The basic things that they should be knowing about donor, the recipient, the artistry, the illusion, what is doable, what is not doable, the medications, use of finasteride. So we educate the patient and we bring his knowledge base to a point that we are very sure that we have given everything that is to be understood by a patient before he takes an informed decision for himself.